I know this isn't King. I know the. I know this isn't Godzilla related, but we have seen. Uh, but we have seen uh, Godzilla. But but King Kong is part of the Godzilla cinematic universe. We've seen him in uh, nineteen in the nineteen sixties. I think it was nineteen eighty four. I don't know. I don't know when it came out. I'm sorry. Uh, King Kong versus Godzilla. And then we saw him in Godzilla vs. Kong in 2021. So yeah, they they both they are in the same universe. So ha, I get to say this is still a Godzilla video, even though I'm talking about King Kong. But anyways, Kong Skull Island. What do I think about the movie? I think this movie is the best is a, is the best monster verse auto, is the best monster verse movie. And I'm a Godzilla fan, so. You, if you are saying you're not a Godzilla fan, if you if you like Kong Skull Island, listen, man, I love watching Godzilla movies, and I still think that Kong Skull Island is worth the watch. So why don't you stop being a crybaby and watch this movie? Because it's really amazing, and and really, in my opinion, it's like one of the best like like Warner Brothers movies I've ever seen. So, eh. So, anyways, what do I like about the movie? Remember when I said in my Godzilla 2014 video that I think hasn't uploaded yet? Um, that I said that the human scenes were like kind of like the like the boring part, even though I don't want to sound like everyone else in the internet. Well, in this one, you actually are engaged with the with like the characters. Like, there is this um, like there's this guy who has a kid named Billy, and then they make a joke throughout the entire movie. It's like, hey, Billy, did you know that uh, da 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 da? You know that? And then suddenly they take this. The, but then after like be these bad things happen, like they start saying, "Dear Billy, hell does exist," and you're like, "Oh my god!" Like. Like, the Hey Billy started out as a joke, but now it's just flat out serious. Like, that's how diminished these characters have been after after setting foot on, on, on Skull Island. And also, yeah, I think the soundtrack in this movie is amazing. Even though it's just 90% uh, songs that just, popular songs that came out in the 1970s that have been associated with war. Including Fortunate Song by, Clear, by Creedence Clearwater Revival. I, and if you're not interested in that, then you can then you can check out uh, Bad Moon Rising, also by Creedence Clearwater Revival. Still not interested? Well, how about Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Also by Creedence Clearwater Revival. And speaking of characters, I think my favorite character is Santa Claus, aka John C. Riley with a beard. With a beard. Yeah. Anyways, I wasn't really invested in this character when they first introduced him in the movie. Like, it's the hey, uh, English talking guy becomes friends with natives cliche. And then suddenly, when you get like more with the character, you really feel for him because not only has he been missing out on the real world for so long, for so long, but also he has like warrior. But he also has like a warrior instinct after he visited like the tribe, the tribes people. Because there's a scene in the movie where they visit King Kong's parents' grave, and then you see him with a sword, and then he starts speaking Japanese and acting badass. Ah, oh, it's amazing. And also, yes, I do shed a tear every single. Th- at the scene where he says, "You know what it is? A beer in your right, a left hand, and a hot dog on your right, while you're just sitting down on a sunny afternoon on a Sunday." And then that's what he does in the movie and sees his family for like after 20 years, and it's beautiful. And the interactions he had with this character was like, "Hey, have the tiger, have the Brooklyn Tigers, like, has like Brooklyn won ever won a baseball game?" Are just so fun and and are just like so fun, and you really want to listen to the whole story, kind of like my grandma's stories, except even more fun. And and my and. And I can you can and I can understand Samuel L. Jackson's hatred for like King Kong. He did kill his men and he's really overpowered. And what is and like even though I said this movie's good, like what is my one gripe with this movie? Uh, you can't have a good film without a negative. A negative with this movie, John Goodman is the villain of this movie. Literally, his motivation is monsters exist, and that's it. Like he really does not have any other motive except saying I'm gonna prove to these scientists that. That giant, the giant monkey exists, and then he dies, and I was like, and I really felt no emotion. Like, huh, is this like the real villain of the movie? Actually, yes, but no. As he has the real human villain, but not the actual villain, as it is a skull crawler, which badass design. Which my compliment, which, which my compliments to the to the creature designer, which really has everything in touch. And here's the fame, the famous skull, the famous, the famous skull. Skull, skull detailed head, the long retellious tail, and of course, the skin. My compliments to your, to your creature designer. The, the designs, the creature designs in these movies are badass, and they're really amazing. My favorite one being not, not just a skull crawler, but also the giant spider with bamboo legs. That, that scene actually terrified me when I first saw this in theaters. 
See, I know the thing that I like about this movie. It's not just King Kong that like being the creature here. It's also these like it's also these beasts in uh in Skull Island. With my least favorite being the octopus, cause it's like the least creative one. But anyways, yeah, the creatures in this movie are really amazing. King Kong not only not King Kong not only serves as like the as like the as like the Sigma male in this in this uh island, but the, like the creatures here are also very impressive and have really nice detail in them. Except for the octopus, he's just a giant octopus, and he literally has like one scene. I know the creatures have like one scene too, but they at least they make it count. Another thing I like about this movie, um, let's see what I like about this movie, is that you really feel like you're actually in the island. Like, you like you really want to see this character survive because you do care for them, but also you want to see how they make it out of this hellscape alive. And you really feel like you're in like in the island yourself as you're watching this movie. Please, it's on HBO Max. I know not everyone has HBO Max, but please watch this movie, or at least subscribe to HBO Max just to watch this movie in Gumball. It's amazing. Nine out of ten in my books. Will recommend it to everyone. My favorite MonsterVerse movie, and I and I hope you'll like it, even if you're a Godzilla fan, King Kong or Godzilla fan. Either way, you will enjoy this movie. See you next time.